we'll see here as we are about to get underway now with our match. Boom Esports are uh, kicking off the draft now. It's actually Sonic's kicking off the draft more aptly uh, as they do have first pick this time on Sonic's, but remain on Dire. Uh, Boom Esports still stay on Radiance, but have last pick this time around. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I think last pick is uh, stronger. Yeah. I, and I think most teams agree with me, but. Uh... I think we see maybe one team that preferred LGD the first day where they lost every game. I feel like they, they wanted Radiant or something. There was something going on there. Well, maybe a bit of experimenting in day one of groups. For now, though, it doesn't seem to be affecting LGD in day three uh, of our group stage now as our draft now lives on our screens. And uh, once again, we'll be looking for a last pick for Boom, so just keep that in mind. Uh, but there are uh, they, being Sonics, actually open up the draft with a bound on Clockwork. Uh, Boom respond with Marcy. What are we thinking on Dying here? Enigma potentially for Sonics. They've got some choices to make. Yeah, for sure. I also. Do you remember Primal Beast last game? What I was do. the deal with him? Uh, what he, happened? Was, he was banned, I believe, by Sonics in the first phase. Okay, okay. Uh, but do allow me to double check. I, I believe he was a first phase ban, but I can't yeah. be sure who banned him. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, because, I mean, that's he's a new, not super new, but he's, he's a very new hero to Captain's Draft. Uh, Captain's Mode, sorry. Uh, so, yeah, I, I sometimes forget if he's banned the first two, and, like, uh, I, I don't bring him up. Because I do believe he's still a very strong hero. Yep. Uh, none of these teams have picked up a lot of victories, though, so maybe they, they've had bad experiences with him. And uh, banned by Sonic's last game, uh, by okay, the okay, way. Okay. Uh, the ban's completely different from Sonic's this time around, actually, uh, as they will ban Clockwork and Undyne. Uh, previous game, it was uh, Primal and Morphling. Okay. Last time here, Boom did ban Lashrak, so we'll see if they are going to be looking to change up what they generally like to ban. Yeah, thank you. If that's what you're gonna do, like draft is this band Enigma. Yeah, there we go. I think that's fair. Force all us onto a different hero, right? Don't let him play Enigma a second time. There is uh, Mushi. Gonna be helping out the team, but Sonic's there, quick to pick up that Primal Beast. Then they they did take a. I presume they thought a lot about this before, right? Because they used about 30 seconds of their reserve time, even a bit more, uh, on that Undying ban. And of course, with first pick, we're likely considering what boom we're going to ban and, and had a couple of options in mind. And this is uh, going to be the route they choose. Yeah, no, I think this is smart. I, I wasn't thinking of it, but game one, like, I think Primal Beast is a super strong first pick hero. Uh, and that, that's why they banned it as second pick. Because uh, when you first pick him here, like, there's so many, so many things you can do with him. Play him as position four, you can just put him mid, you can wait, wait and see. Uh, so yeah, I, I really like what they're doing here. Yeah, and I'm just looking through these previous Primal games for Sonics. They picked it twice, once against OG, uh, and they lost with that one there. Um, they also picked it a second time against LGD, and they did lose that series. Uh, sorry, they lost that game as well. Maybe having more to do with the nothing to say. Ember, though. Uh, but yeah, so it's. I think it's been run. Let me check this game, actually. I can't quite tell. What it was yeah, so I, I remember Leslaw playing it once, and I'm pretty sure MSS has played it once. Yep, that's right. Yeah. Um, oh. Sonic's back with the Morphling. That, that's a hero that they've now drafted for Yawar, I think, three or four times here. Yeah. So, uh, strong hero. Strong hero. Shadow Fian generally considered a. Pretty good versus him, but it's not like a complete counter, right? Right. You, you buy that BKB and, yeah, you, you, you get on top of him. The, the Tiny also used to be problematic against this hero, right? But I think now, again, with the Shard, maybe you still live through a, an Avatos Blink combo, especially because expecting to be a support Tiny, it's not going to be the fastest Blink, like a mid would it be. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, I think that Shard changed a lot now, a lot of the matchups. Uh, you, you can probably, yeah, you, you probably... You could, uh, yeah, I wonder when you buy it. Maybe you buy it really early if it's a mid tiny, so you don't have to like worry about this type of stuff. Good ban there on the A, of course, to cover, uh, as Boom remaining. will move to take away a couple more heroes here of Quinn in this stage, I would imagine, uh, making sure that he's not going to be too hot in this game, right? Don't get him on a, a super comfortable hero after he had a very comfortable game one on the sniper. Even if it wasn't a Quinn hero, uh, he certainly knows how to A-click the ground, doesn't he? Yeah. And so the issue here, you see, you saw the Primal Beast first pick, so you picked Shadowfian. Uh, and I think Shadowfian should do decently in the mid lane versus Primal. It'll pro it's probably pretty complicated, right, because the Primal can charge you. Uh, but it's like, if he charges in, like, he's either killing you or you're killing him. But now if you put the Primal Beast as position 4, I think Shadowfian is one of the easiest hero in, heroes in the game to gank uh, in the safe lane. I mean, sorry, in the mid lane, uh, when you're coming from the... 
when you're coming from the, the safe lane with Primal. So, yeah, I'm interested to see where they... Maybe they just want to play the carry again, right? They played carry Shadowfield last game. And they they could put the Tiny with them, so he has a little stun. And uh, maybe they'll play it like that. Sonic spanning, a couple more mid lane hero matchups, but yeah, agree there, right, on this Primal Beast, they, that's the value of him, he can still be flexed 3-4, maybe even mid, uh, certainly yeah. still very open here, uh, that Morph lane has been for Yawar though, for the entire tournament, so I think that's the only one that's super locked in, uh, but Sonic's of course going to protect that hero with maybe one more pan here to make sure he doesn't get too unfavorable a matchup. Then again, I mean, this Morph, he, he feels so strong, at least with his shift rate in lane, it, it doesn't feel like there are many lanes he does that badly in anymore. Yeah, no, nowadays, yeah, because you, I remember you could see him like at 10 minutes if he had a really bad lane being like, you know, 1.8, 2k net worth. Mm -hmm. I don't really see that anymore. He's, obviously you can, you can beat him in lane, but he'll have a few levels. He'll be ready to go jungle. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's way harder to shut him down completely. And I think the, the only question mark for, for Morphs, you know, has been, well, what's your impact going to be in these, you know, kind of transition period between the, the early to mid-game fights, right? You watch uh, Yotoro play uh, the, the Morph lane, right? You, or between how Yawar plays Morph lane, between how Crystals plays Morph lane, you know? Um, and, you know, there's different levels of impact you can have depending on what your early couple of items are, who you choose to morph into, whether or not you decide to fight at all, right? Uh, this hero does feel like a little bit... Uh, he, he's, he feels much, much different in different hands, doesn't he? Yeah, I guess, but that also depends... Uh I think most people would play it quite similar if they got a good lane, right? Like how early you can help out your team depends on how good your lane is, especially with a hero like Morphling. Uh, and and you, you were talking about this uh, ultimate too, right? Yeah, if you have good heroes to morph into. There are some games where you really don't want to show up to fight because, like, yeah, you have to wait for him in and then you're in and there's no one you really want to morph into. But here there's already a tiny, like with morphing into tiny is really good. Like you, you get this uh, avatos combo. So, like, you basically get a bunch of burst damage. So, that, yeah, but we'll basically see if Yawar has a really good lane, I expect him to pressure a lot. If the lane is not good, uh, expect to find him at the Ancients. <laughs> yep. And uh, probably expect uh, perhaps Tim's right on his tiny rotating in and trying to set up a couple kills there. Uh, so, we'll see how they can look to continue setting them up. Right now, not such amazing skills. The tiny, you know, is... is Decent for a nice little AoE stun, maybe a toss to continue some lockdown. Wouldn't be that too surprised there. As Sonics are going to go free hero, you and I don't feel too great about here. At least in all the games we've casted on a Visage, I honestly don't know if it's won a single one. Uh, no. I mean, it's definitely lost every single lane. That, that I'm sure of. Um, it has to, I mean, in some other games, it must have won. Like... Some team must have had success with this hero, but yeah, from what we've seen, it's been a very low impact. Generally, because he give, has given complete free farm to the carry, and then uh, not been able to do anything after. But I want to point out, I think this Disruptor pick is like the best five they could have picked. It's like a really good pick. You, you, you've seen how the cage messes up Primal Beast when he's charging around. Yeah, true. And then you you talked about earlier too, like the static storm on Morphling. It's just a, it's a very solid skill to have. Yeah, I love me Disruptor uh, versus Primal Beast. It is very fun and very satisfying for him to onslaught in, start pulverizing, and you immediately glimpse him back to Kingdom Come. Uh, it's great. Obviously, you're not going to kill him, even now that glimpse does damage, but uh, Onslaught's got a, you know, a, a fair cooldown, so he really only gets that off you know, once uh, if, to get the engagement off, and then maybe once on the way out. Okay, and okay, boom, okay. with a pudge, very fight heavy already here, lots of skirmishing early. Uh, Sonics as well, we'll, we'll go ahead and, and nod towards this Elder Titan ban. Uh, does feel really good versus SF, you get to destroy all of his base armor if you can get on top of him. That might help out the birds. Yep, uh, I'm thinking they'll put him with the Morphling in lane to just back him up there. It's always nice to have a fat melee hero running in tanking for you, so you can get your levels and last hits. Uh, but yeah, the Pudge, we saw this, uh, if this is a carry Pudge, that is. We saw Pakas do this yesterday versus Visage. And I thought the Vis Visage would do quite well, but it, w it was not easy. Uh, it ended up being a very hard matchup for Visage. Like the base damage difference, just the tankiness of Pudge. And uh, actually only the fourth Elder Titan pick, unless it's being picked right now in other streams. Uh, only the fourth Elder Titan pick of the tournament and the first for Sonics. Picked by OG twice, day one, and then once by LGD. Ten seconds remaining. Yep. Uh, it's an okay hero. He's not bad. 
it maybe it deserves a few more picks, but especially with uh, a lot of morphlings in the meta, quite strong versus that. He's right. not bad versus Enigma in lane either. Like you, you get a lot of damage. You can right click these eidolons. And even the ultimate, right? Goes half of it goes to BKB. I believe the physical yeah. damage part. Uh, but and it, you cancel stuff, right? You cancel stuff with it, and it's really great against these tanky heroes like Pudge. Uh, you know his flesh heap. Now that it, it blocks after reductions, right, and all that. It's great against small instances of damage, uh, for example, like against familiars, but it's not great against Earth Splitter. That is going to be really punching through him. Yeah, true. Okay, sniper banned by Boom there in the last phase. A Sonics, they're going to pull out the Quinn Invoker. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I, yeah, they expect the Shadow Fiend to be mid lane here. All right, all right. Interesting. No, I mean, they... One of the hardest heroes for me to judge when I see him in the draft is this Pudge. Because uh, I'm not sure about his lane strength. And I'm not sure about like how strong his timings are, right? Like when he gets Axe, is he that strong? I guess it depends on the game. Like some games you probably can't fight until you're BKB. Some games you just take it over completely. Uh, but so far, every time we've seen him, he's just dominated. Yeah. So. And I, I think you're on to something there with the BKB, especially this game, right? I, I think with the amount of interrupts casually as well. I think every hero has a way of interrupting a channel or a stun at some stage, right? Against his Pudge. Uh, I think BKB is going to feel like a necessity. You know, Invoker, if it is going to be Quas Wex, for example, has a lot of ways of casually interrupting, increasing the gap, slowing, or otherwise, you know, uh, making Pudge's path to getting on top of a hero very difficult. So, yeah, I, I, I think I agree with you. We've been pretty biased on this stream, given that we've had a lot of <laughs> Pakaz Pudge, uh, who currently holds the, the killer record right now in TI for the most kills on one of his Pudge games, because uh, it's always looked great whenever they've picked it. But this time, it, it, does, it does seem a bit more difficult. I, I've got to agree with you. Yeah, I mean, I'm not even sure. Maybe it's not. Like, I'm, I'm also looking at uh, Sonic's lineup. Maybe they don't, they don't have enough damage here the first 20 minutes, especially if he goes Coswex on Invoker. Point. Uh, when he presses that flesh sheep, maybe that's enough to like basically cancel out everything here, especially early on. Uh, so yeah, I, we just have to wait and see. Uh, especially against these familiars, actually. I, uh, speaking of which, I, I don't know if even at level six, if Leslau can look to boot Pudge out of lane. He, he does feel really strong. You can hook familiars, which is sometimes a bit annoying, sometimes good, because obviously they're worth 100 gold. Uh, yeah. But just keep that in mind as well. We'll, we'll see if we uh, yeah. get any of those hit. Boom, I no. do expect it to be Quaswex, right? I, I think that even though like I would like the damage from Exort, there's just no easy setups for the Sunstrike. I get the Echo Stomp is decent. Yeah. Uh, oh. Spirit Vessel would be nice. So, okay, and Phoenix. the Phoenix last pick here. I want to see who locks that in for Boom. Yeah, it, it is FBZ. Yeah, he, he's played this a decent amount. I guess he he likes this. He can dive away from the Primal, right? Like Primal. If he charges him, he can get out. And uh, yeah, I guess he finds it decent versus Morphling in lane. Probably pick up a Spirit Vessel himself. True. Yeah, good Spirit Vessel builder there. Uh, absolutely. Uh, which does feel like a necessity versus this uh, this team, right? Morphling, obviously. But even Primal Beast, especially because, oh, well, he's a position four. He'll still rush BKB most likely. <laughs> but yeah. uh, it is going to be a nice item to have regardless. Lots of damage. You have only a handful of really good egg hitters. Of course, Quinn can buff up anyone with Alacrity eventually. Yeah, Morphl you have to say Morphling is a very good egg hitter. Yeah, yeah. Like the second he gets BKB, he hits very fast. And I just want to mention to you, the Fire Spirits, it's pretty nice versus Elder Titan. Right. Uh, to reduce its attack speed there, so right, yeah, I yeah, mean, decently clever pick, but uh, I'm not sure. Maybe the egg does die a little too easily here. Yeah. On that Elder Titan, you're completely uh, correct. I think the most annoying way to counter an Elder Titan is picking um, a dispel in lane. Like Enchantress is the, right, mm. the one that comes to mind, especially. It wasn't really an option here for Boom in this draft, which is why it was a pretty nice pick for Fata oh, at that stage. Cool. But yeah, the Fire Spirit's attack speed slows are certainly going to be the next best thing to hit him with. And uh, FBZ is going to have no shortage of those, especially because Fire Spirits, it's gone through a really weird phase where Ice Frog, he, he's decided he wants them to do not as much damage as they used to, because they used to do like, I think, 110 damage a second with a talent back in the day, but they had a really long cooldown. Now at level four, you basically, you know, I think the downtime is zero if you just mm -hmm. wait and to launch all four. Uh, so you have them uh, way more uptime on Fire Spirits, but they don't do as much damage. But here for the lane, the attack speed slow is definitely going to be impactful versus ET. No, for sure. It's just the, the early levels, the cooldown is quite long, yeah. but 
Uh, yeah, they, they, they have an interesting lane. I'm curious to see how well the Morphling will farm. Because it can get very complicated for the ET. If the lane kind of pushes out, it can get tossed into tower. It's just hard to run in. You get avalanched. You get, uh, your attack speed gets reduced. Uh, but I don't know if they can like shut down the Morphling, so to speak. I, I think it will be quite even in farm there. Yeah, and, and for me, the big question mark for Sonics is, again, as we continue with our theme on any of our casts, is, is this Visage going to prove itself to us? It, it has been a, a pretty contested hero here, actually, uh, throughout the group stage. I think it's like up there in the top 10. Yeah, just below Undyne in terms of how much it's contested. Usually banned. What is the win rate? It's you been, see that? Yeah, I, I can. It's been picked 15 times here, Pi, with a win rate of 40%. So this is going to be the 16th game. Okay. I mean, so it's not... I mean, it's not... An amazing win rate, but he's definitely winning. Not the games we were watching, but some <laughs> yeah. of the games. Yeah, that's the thing that surprised me, right? Is that, uh, I don't know, we've, we've just gotten a little bit biased here on, on our one, our Pudge games, I think, and two yeah. as well, uh, our Visage games. But here they go, our worlds colliding. 30 seconds to battle. I wonder if Flesh Sheepers trample too. Yeah, you probably just reduce. <laughs> Ooh, very interesting the hook there, but <laughs> might as well, might as well throw it. He does have it now for the rune too, but then he's completely out of mana. That's right. Yeah, no mana regeneration either available for him. Which yeah, is... so I guess we'll basically be comparing him to Bakas here. Uh, which is, has been a high mark, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah for sure. That's been uh, some really solid games out from Bakas. Also, now has taken Soul Assumption here. And the hook Oops. is going to stop him assess from grabbing the rune, but let's allow in position to grab it. That'll make three bounties for Sonic. So maybe even first uh, blood. Kill, yeah, yeah, really nice positioning there. And the body blocks from him assess. That'll guarantee the kill. First blood for Leslau. Maybe this is the start of Visage needs. Maybe two kills? I think that's nah, a bit opportunistic. Yeah. yeah, too long cool on that onslaught, right? But yeah, very cocky by the punch there. Just hooks him. <laughs> And uh, I think uh, Sonics are a bit confused at that point, and then they just realize, like, yeah, all right, uh, let's kill him. Yeah, that's what they do. Quinn there with a cheeky little cold snap, uh, if there were any doubts, uh, now dispelled, right? As it's going to be the Quas Wex Invoker. Uh, but yep. he does actually mess up the Shadow Rays combo of Yapage with the Cold Snap, so that's quite annoying. You can see normally mm. the SFs want to, like, Shadow Rays basically all three melee creeps and even the range if you can get it. Not the case. Yeah. Uh, Pudge lane is very aggressive. Like both MSS and Leslau taking a lot of damage here. I, I do kind of like a Visage into Disruptor for some reason. Again, just because Disruptor really good at dealing damage in lane. Leslau does take advantage of that at least and can dish some of it back with that sole assumption. Some of that feels decent, but you can see the damage starting to really ramp up and that boy's maybe threatening with a hook. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it definitely goes both ways. Like, if you ever get to land Static Storm uh, Kinetic Field on top of both yeah. Visage and his birds, like, that's very nice. But, oh, there. Ah, no, nah, it should be okay. Should be okay. Uh, but if the Visage kind of gets to come in an angle and uh, attack you with his birds, then you just. I mean, you can't do anything, right? You're just dead. I always like seeing mid laners, uh, lane versus SF, right? You gotta really mind your spacing versus him, but it is hilarious whenever they stand right next to him because he's used his short range rays. Yep. Oh, down bottom though, Jack boys. I mean, Quinn seems to be doing fine here. Uh, I think this matchup can end up being quite rough if uh, Shadowfin collects a lot of souls early. I actually wonder if you could play this matchup differently. Like, you know, like go for more of a Wraith Band build? Like just, and just like get level two Necromastery. Uh, maybe a bit too optimistic though. It's just maybe for later when, uh, cause you're gonna start getting mana burned eventually in this lane. Yeah. Yeah, and right now, you do have enough mana to use some races. Oh, he's, he's going for a kill there. Oh, and once again, Quinn keeping his space, and that'll trigger a TP. Onslaught's going to be quite speedy on in as Quinn. Oh, oh fighting through this one, but it's Yopage. He actually gets the stacks, and now MSS trampling all over him. Okay, Yopage okay. is going to die, but Quinn goes first. Yeah, but at least, like, if you <laughs> if you don't have uh, that counter kill there, you feel awful. Now you're just, you're a little frustrated, but you're still all right. Yeah. Wins not. Oh, but Leslau is going down in the bottom lane yep. at the same time. Uh, that's going to be the rotation oh, forced. Or? And maybe he lives, actually. Maybe maybe it's Scam oh, who dies. Scam taking. No, Scam. Oh. Okay, Scam just kills him. Yeah. <laughs> Man's up there. Gets the kill. Dies to the tower. I suppose not really like a man, like a dis like a dinosaur riding weatherman, sir. But yep. certainly made the hero maybe play there. And we'll take down the offlaner. Yeah, I mean, Yopash. Probably very happy this game. Actually, he gets to play 
Elaine. Nightmares from Sniper. Hoo hoo. Haha. <laughs> yeah, seriously. 6.83 that patch. We're, uh, we've advanced a little bit since then, haven't we? A lot looks different. A lot feels different. And Sniper doing very different things. But still, not, uh, not a fun hero to lose to. Is Yopaj. Okay, he's, thought, well, he's out of mana, right? So he could go for a kill there. Top lane, uh, we do see lots of Fire Spirits constantly being thrown onto the ET. Uh, so that's certainly been quite effective and been very useful for keeping Tim's rather healthy. That can be a kind of a brutal matchup for uh, Tiny, especially with zero armor. You know, all that bonus damage getting to work. Tim's, you know, he feels good enough that he can actually rotate mid and help you polish to cure a water rune away from Quinn. He missed uphill there, so he doesn't get to yeah, burn yeah. the mana. A little frustrating. Oh, for sure. Okay, bottom lane, they're going on scam. A little bit of damage to Leslau, and there's still a hook actually for Jack Boys. Leslau, he needs to try and make a, a miracle happen. Looking to put on his dancing shoes to avoid this one. There's the onslaught MSS trying to act as the bodyguard, but the hook, not even necessary. Jack Boys, oh, he did, he did throw it. Pardon me, it was just a zero range hook. I thought that was an auto attack. Gets out his first flesh heap of the game. MSS gives chase, cancels the, cl uh, the healing salve, yep. but he's going to be unable to secure the kill. Uh, but yeah, the Visage, Visage is okay, net worth right now, levels, he's still, he's still doing okay-ish here. Jack points with a nice hook there. Yes, indeed. Yeah. But the MSS charges out. So nice. Uh... Okay, so now let's level finally, he gets to come back and feel kind of comfortable, right? Full HP, full mana. No hook immediately available. Yeah. MSS, having used the onslaughts, has only trample to deal with, but he's healing up in the trees, has brown boots speed, might make to look a play. Mid lane, it's Yopaj who's going to take a trip home to regen. Of course, this invoker doesn't need really to, to run on home. He's got himself those quas orbs to keep him nice and healthy. But mana's looking a bit worse for wear, certainly. Yep. Uh, but yeah, Boom doing way better this game. Uh, lane's kind of even, but they're all getting to play right now. Yawa with a bit of a better start as well compared to the Monkey King game he had. Uh, which, again, he didn't play poorly by any means, still went deathless, of course, but uh, is finding a little bit more farm here against the Phoenix, even if he is being burned by these fire spirits. Yeah. Already, though, the Urn of Shadows online for FBC. Don't know yeah, if... you don't want to don't feed him a killer. Yeah, I don't know if the kill is that easy for him. Urn of Shadows, by the way, almost online here for Quinn, but it might be his ashes actually to be collected here, at least until MSS TP's in. Going for the rune there. Minute six yeah, rune. Queen does not let him have it. Yeah, and there's actually a Requiem. Okay, that's going to stop the Onslaught and the Trample away from MSS as the Shadow Rays is going to allow uh, Yopaj to collect Quinn's yeah. soul. MSS, he looks like he might be dying here as well. Stick Charges has Fairy Fire. Rays coming he'll up. miss. A long Rays collects the kill. And that's two there for Yopaj's third overall of the game. Yeah. Uh, Yopaj looking very comfortable in this Shadow Fiend. Very smooth. Uh, I mean, Quinn, I think Quinn has been playing it pretty well, but you can definitely see Yopash has played a bunch of Shadow Fiend in pubs. Uh, bottom lane, the Pudge. You know, he has 27 more damage, right? So, kind of bullying this such in last hits here. Base damage a bit too high, yeah, for Lesla yeah. to deal with. And uh, it gets a bit easier when these birds are up, but uh, you got to be very mindful of your Gravekeeper cloak stacks. The birds inherit whatever number that Visage has above them, right? Which is why sometimes they feel really tanky and sometimes they just die. Uh, but they have to be in that 900 radius AoE uh, to be able to receive that buff in the first place. Pudge eventually with Rot is going to tear right through those stacks if he can get on top of the Visage. As they, oh, Yawar makes an aggressive play here for FBZ. Tim's is, is lying in wait. Maybe on a Nicarus time they can go in. Yawar's a bit low. Yeah. Stick charges. Seems to know though. Yeah, it's a bit hard. Bottom lane here, I don't know if they. Nah, they can't go. I mean, Jack Boys is a full level ahead of uh, Lesla. Yes. He can eat him if he so desires. And MSS is right underneath the ward, so it makes trying to get a surprise onslaught. And you, even if you can still surprise heroes with this ability now that you roar from off screen. But four heroes coming bottom, so they're yeah, going to make the play anyway. Tonix. Are going to be delayed here a bit. A nice read there by Scam as he does send him back. The right click damage not nearly enough, but Fata here. Oh, he's going to keep vision here, and that allows Lesla to toss nice. in the second soul assumption. There is a point in natural order as well, actually. So that magic resist being reduced by 40%, uh, or the. 
if not by 40%, right? It's 25% reduced by 40%. Uh, but still, amping up the damage Pudge is taking at the end of the day. And that's yep. going to be a kill for Les Lau. No, yeah, very nice. And uh, I mean, he was probably expecting someone to TP for him. I don't know why Tim's didn't TP and try to save him, but you know, they're still ahead 2k gold. Yeah. Instead, Tim's is going to find himself in the mid lane, contesting the 8-minute room, but he also found himself swept up at the tornado, he'll pushed asunder as well by that little onslaught. Yopage going maybe to, to pretend like he was going to Requiem them, but actually they, they can't get the kill on him. He's just a little bit too tanky here. Yeah. A decently big magic wand and uh, just a tiny right? A lot of HP. But there's uh, at least Leslo, he summons the familiars immediately. He wastes no time keeping that triangle at the top of your screen green. Uh, is going to get now to farming a bit faster here. And hopefully get that Vlad's and Wraith back online. Yeah. The Phoenix, though, quite strong. Uh, I mean, oh, are they, can he kill Skinner? No way, right? It's a bit Joel hard. Is behind him, too. Yeah, MSS, he didn't actually Vata use Onslaught yet. And now Vata in some trouble. Yopaj still has the long raise, and Jack Boy's here. Didn't even need to throw a hook or a dismember. Had that kill easy peasy. And oh, yeah, in case you thought Jack Boys was going to be taking any damage from these familiars, <laughs> no, he's not. He's got a vanguard <laughs> now, too. Oh, he went. Okay, okay. So this is not the Pakas build, but. Yeah, I mean, look, he's he's literally taking no damage here. Okay, now the magic damage, at least a bit more significant out from MSS. But you can see this familiar is really just tickling him. In comes FBZ now, and he has Supernova. But everyone's just a bit too tanky here. Vata, yeah. they could actually look to set up a kill onto him. Now, he does take some damage. The hook Ooh, out, nice though, hook. is going to be well placed from Jack Boys. That'll get FBZ on a tough spot. Oh, yeah, but for Sonics, this is so big. Mid. Win. He's Win. underneath Sentry. So Tim's is going to throw a tree at him as Yopaj trying Ooh, to catch up to him. A nice toss. That might set up for a Requiem. Yopaj oh. decides he doesn't need Ooh. it. Oh, and those raise is going to miss. Quinn, he pops out, I think, to pop the one. But the infused yeah. raindrops keep him alive. Wow, so close there. Uh, but I just want to say, like, the Phoenix seeping down there is huge for Yawar. Now he's completely free. Uh, okay, he's pushed out the wave, farm the jungle. Like, he's been waiting for this. Waiting for this pesky Phoenix, pesky bird to get out. Yep. And right now, you know, neither team really too set to snowball. Uh, both of our urn carriers, being Quinn and FBZ, have been yet to find a charge. Yep. Uh, usually is how you really get the ball rolling a bit more on these uh, heroes. The, the difficulty for Quinn is, of course, you know, he's, he's beginning glimpsed out of these fights. Uh, he's got a lot of lockdown, but his team does kind of lack damage, and we saw that in play, right, especially against the Pudge. No, for sure. Uh, I'm just looking at Scam here. He's level... He just really wants a 6, and then uh, I'm pretty sure he can't find a kill anywhere feels like. But before that, MSS smokes up uh, Quinn. So they're on their way to the Pudge here. Yeah, the crew coming down bottom here. They'd really like to maybe get the better jump on Skim, but actually they're gonna deviate from their normal path. Yeah, Onslaught going, from boys. Fog. In they go. There's plenty of magic damage. Skim with level 2 glimpse is gonna use it here on to the Primal Beast as the stun's at least TP. proving useful from Les Lau. No TP still. Tornado, not enough damage. Les Lau with another soul assumption. The wand keeping alive the Pudge for now as the familiars, not enough damage here to secure the kill, so instead they'll turn towards Skem, but they're a little bit scared about what might wait up the high ground. Not MSS, he goes on sliding on up, but another nice hook from Jack Boys is going to prevent anyone from dying here. Yeah. Okay, I'm very surprised no one TPs there. Like, I feel like they can turn that. They have Glimpse. They have Supernova. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if he TPs in, right? But instead, they, like, roll the dice, uh, Jack Boys does live, and they get to trade towers, or possibly just gain a tower. Yeah, and they force out Yuar, right, who was kind of uh, a little bit more free, as you highlighted. Yes. Now he's going to be back into the jungle for some more farm. Oh, boom. Uh, they really don't want to TP for Jack boys. <laughs> no. No, they do not. He's a Pudge. He'll, uh, he'll take care of himself. The real win condition here, they say. That's your Pudge on this SF. Falcon Blade, and I think already... Is that the... Dragonlance on the way, it is. So he's coming along very nicely, lots of stats. Good attack range for him. Yep. And Quinn is trying to finish up the Spirit Vessel. But as you said, like not a lot of kills, right? So no charges on any of these uh, urns or vessels. I think FBZ is beaten to the vessel as well. Yeah, indeed. A little bit was like about a 400 gold lead here in favor of FBZ uh, compared to Quinn is going to allow him to get that vessel. 
Yeah, you see Scam here, smoked up, looking for Lesla. Okay, and maybe they can find him. Scam has himself oh, that status nice storm available. Stuns, Very good stuns here. And the onslaught in, they're going to be holding back. Scam, he does get the glimpse off, but in danger of dying now. Lesla needs to keep these birds within range Rest of his of great Sonics first cloak aura. Here. But here comes the crew. Sonics bringing in reinforcements as the pulverize setting up beautifully for the two-man Echo nice Stomp. Disruptor ulti. Disruptor ulti does hold him back. Actually, maybe gets the kill into MSS. Out yeah. goes the Supernova. Protecting it is going to be Yopage, so he does get off that Requiem of Souls. That may condemn Fata, as there's the first of two Vessel Charges of the game for FBZ. Getting a double kill there as he turns with the ulti. Nicely done. Very nice. Uh, Quinn also got some charges, so he's happy. Just about to finish Spirit Vessel. And Yawar was farming during the whole thing, so the game is kind of in similar state to before that went down. Mm -hmm. and is this a full Van Hood for Pudge? No, it's just a, a casual cloak. A bit more magic resist. He is going to be relying on that Vanguard to keep him alive uh, alongside, of course, that uh, Fleshy as he yeah. farms up his axe. Yeah, he's been going for a few more extra items than Pakas. I don't think Pakas ever went for Soul Ring, for example, right? Or uh, or Vanguard, right? Yeah, I think or Vanguard. So sometimes he wouldn't even finish Hood. It would just be the casual cloak. Yeah, he would want his axe a bit quicker. Yep. I don't even blink before BKB. So, uh, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see here how uh, you know, Jack Boys wants to play it. Nice boom. Uh, FBZ is going to have a little bit of a hard time Icarus diving away. Quinn looking to force it as we'll be able to not burn much mana. If, if any, in, in fact, no, he won't. It's zero mana burned. Yeah. Visage uh, kind of struggling, but he's actually keeping up enough this game. Uh, he's only, yeah, only 800 gold behind the Phoenix. And uh, this is definitely the best game with you and me I've seen for a Visage so far. Absolutely. Without a question, I'd, I'd say. <laughs> uh, yeah, we haven't had very convincing uh, Visage games. This isn't like, you know, one that makes me go, wow, what a hero. Yeah. But he's got a, he's got potential, and he's been lining some nice stuns there. That last fight, right? I think, what, three-man stuns there on the familiar bonks. Yeah. Ringing their bell on the side of Boom. Quinn on this way. Um, oh, Tim. Tim's, Tim's really wants bonus dead. armor. Yeah, he's gone actually trying to get these phase boots online, and for good reason. You can see how much damage he's taking from these familiars, but uh, I'm not going to save him there. He dies. Okay, can they get. Yopash is walking up the hill there. Yeah. Oh, he, he saw something? I don't know. Oh, yeah, they have the war there. They broke the smoke and they have a ward. Yep. So. Yep. Oof, he could have died. Uh, that was a bit scary. Very brave. Oh, but FBZ in the meantime, Onslaught is going to catch him. There's no pulverize. He has Supernova oh, and he has just no chance to use it. Really nice job there. Now maybe MSS in some trouble as they're going to disarm Yopaj. The pulverize back off cooldown. He's been pulled, however, out of that Earth Splitter. Maybe, though, still enough time for MSS to escape the fear. Long range oh, race missed. is going to miss. And I think, yeah, that's Boom not really getting anything here. Lots of, yep. I don't know how he's found himself back here. <laughs> It'll TP away. He kind of dodged the Requiem, right? And then he was like, all right, uh, I think I have to TP out from here. I'm in their base. <laughs> that was a, a nice kill there set up onto the Phoenix, pardon me. And uh, something I'll, I'll bring up, because I didn't think it was that much damage, but when we started seeing Magic Amp, you know, when uh, back when we had Coddle at every game, and he started going for the Vessel, that was serious damage, and, and you mm. saw a little bit of that, just a little bit, right, with this natural order amping the damage Phoenix was taking. This is a strength-based hero. He's quite tanky with 1,800 HP. Oh, bottom lane, wait, quickly here. Tim's, are they going to get him? Oh, Yawar. Yeah, he lifts it as easy. Let's allow. Oh, no, they, they let him go. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. Uh, like, you, you put that uh, natural order on them, you get the Vessel and the uh, Primal Beast trampling around. Oh, yeah. Like, that's a lot of damage. Oh, lots of amp here, and especially for a Phoenix who, I mean, he does have this buckler uh, to go into the Vlads, but it's it's, it's just not enough armor to keep him alive. They do yeah. really chew through him very quickly, especially even with right clicks. And that, that's that'll be where Yawar comes in. For now, he's still ha happily farming away, living through these kill attempts. A flawless game for him, a perfect core game. Sun would say zero, zero, and zero. Uh, yep. Just wanted to get his items online. Uh, Last is tanking up the tower here mid, trying to force. Of course it's dead. Is under attack. He definitely doesn't want to resummon here. That only needs a third experience for level 12. Yeah, yeah that's always a bit frustrating. Oh, those fire spirits also really effective against the familiars. Nice deny by Yopesh there. Uh, I don't, what I don't like, they haven't been able to really to use the supernova here at all. Yeah, only one cast uh, of it, I believe. Yeah, and that was like, it was okay, right? But not very 
And the same with the Static Storm. Like, I, I don't know. I Maybe feel like here. they should... Yeah, they should go and fight. Be an opportunity. Tim is going to be taking a lot of damage. Heaps of damage and killed off. Static Storm does catch MSS. He's still trampling in there. But the Static Field is uh, going to kill him off. Static Storm in the Kinetic Field, rather, is going to kill him off. Uh, okay, they're just cooling disengage. Support for supports. And I suppose both sides happy with that. Not too much more committed other than the Static Storm. But, I mean, they haven't done a lot of moves, but at least the... Both the Pudge and Shadow Fee and have uh -oh. so... Haster in though. Oh, a cold snap there. The proc, unfortunately, time for FBZ. Does pop the Supernova, yeah. and Sonic's happy to disengage. Definitely just have to live there. Yep. A little bit of day for night there for just a couple of moments there. But of course, it, it does turn into daytime whenever Phoenix Supernovas. Doesn't make much of a difference here, to be honest, this game. I guess everyone does get better vision during that ulti, but... Uh, other than that, it's not too big a deal. Yeah. Ooh, are they? No, I was thinking like, are Sonic's gonna go for Roche, but no way, no way. Oh, did they get the Gaben rune? No, no, they're, no. They're pinging. Oh, they are, they are going for Roche. They feel okay. like they can take it. No Static Storm for 25 seconds. No Supernova for much longer. And Pudge this does dying. not have X, so uh, yeah. This is great. They, they, oh, they have BKB Shadowfin though, level 14 with Requiem of Souls. Yeah, I don't think Ooh, they can get this. Oh, and the flyby there is going to at least apply a couple of fires for its Quinn with a very nice tornado. Sets up for the two man Echo Stomp. As there's going to be the Vessel Charge onto MSS. Yapaj pops BKB, trying to fight oh, into nice. Quinn, who is going to be caught here by the Glimpse. The Avalanche as Tim's joins the fight from the side. And Sonics, despite having a perfect ward up on the cliff, they're going to lose Quinn first. He has buyback, and Roche is low. Yeah, no BKB on Primal anymore though, and they still need 40 seconds for this egg on Phoenix. Mm -hmm. So I wonder, how will this shake out? Will they just Static wait for Storm. Queen to respawn and go for it again, or what will they do here? Static Storm's ready, right? So so boom, eager to contest yeah. if Sonics move back into the pit. It's not really been the case, and actually in that little skirmish, Jack Boys has now found the farm for his Axe Scepter, so he's much more eager to fight now. I don't know about yeah. much more. We'll see. Maybe he wants BKB, but he'll certainly contest Roach. Yeah, for sure. And we have to talk about it. Actually, it's quite good versus Morphling, right? It does reduce his healing. Good point. If he's in this oh, rock. Okay, there he is. They're just right back in. They don't they don't care. And oh. I think under the cover of smoke, they might finish this in time. Okay. Another Echo Stomp here as the Fire Spirits and Earth Splitter are gonna be setting up the hook. Oh, it's gonna catch a familiar, and that's not what Jack Boys wanted. Now, Quinn still eager to fight here underneath his ward. It should be plainly obvious to Boom that there's vision I up think here. Boom can fight there, but though. Right? No shot of They do want to fight. But... Static Storm is going to... Oh! You are! He gets out of the Static Storm, though. But he's tossed back on in. And now he's going to lose Aegis immediately. Oh, great job here, Sonics. They're going to be caught on unawares. As now all the ultis from Boom Esports coming into use. The hook Ooh. nearly catching you are. An important and necessary sidestep there for him. Allows him to get out. Oh, very unfortunate that the uh, Disruptor died there. Like, if he was alive, they would get either Quinn or Morphling there with a glimpse. Uh, so too bad that he died. Yawar with a heads-up caster on Mantisile uh, does actually shuffle him out of the Static Storm, which was a little bit of luck, uh, but well played. Yeah. No, because I, I think Boom are, like, they're really strong in a fight like that. Mm -hmm. It's good Supernova, right? And uh, because Sonic only have one main egg hitter, and considering he died, right, uh, you have a glimpse to, to hold people back or to even glimpse them back in. But yeah, like yeah. you say, focusing him down, Sonics at least are able to only lose two there, Aegis, uh, as well as MSS. Yeah. Also, the game is still very even. We saw Dota, Dota Plus giving it 50-50, which uh, I think I can agree with. Uh, I do believe Boom's lineup later on is quite a bit easier to teamfight with. Um, but I mean, it's not—it's not that clear. Yeah. Both, both, oh. both lineups definitely strong. They're gonna smoke right under a ward here. So boom! I, I don't mm. think this is gonna bear fruit. In fact, it, it might even be a bit painful as Fata is gonna TP on over. Looks like MSS preparing to break any smokes should they try and run up that double ramp. But instead, the swing is a little bit more wide here for Boom. At least, maybe until we'll just kind of call it—you know—call it and move on. Yeah. I think they know something was scouted, right? No one just leaves a single Harpy, a Wild Wing there in, in a camp. They, they saw that and they were probably like, ah, mm -hmm. yeah, this isn't going to pan out. And we see, yeah, Jack Boys queuing up the Blink Tiger. Almost has it. Yo, Pash going for Shadow Blade. Yeah, mm -hmm. kind of standard here. Yeah, we're almost with BKB though. Like 1k gold needed for him. And then I think he's maybe a little bit uh, easier off in these fights. Oh. Sorry, I just MSS. He's, uh, 
Uh, keyed up the Egg Shard instead of BKB, so he's valuing this uh, casual little rock throw. Yeah, he probably feels like he's too far away from getting BKB. Right. Like it's, uh, it's not a lot of farm on the map anymore. Both teams playing very disciplined, just farming their sides of the map. Right, needing to go for just kind of the, that efficient item, right? Cheaper yeah. one, even. Tim's even finding farm where he can. Uh, he's holding on to the Philosopher's Stone as well, that Philly Stone. And uh, he's getting a couple of waves here. So that Blink Dagger may be online here the next three, four minutes for him. Yep. And Quinn uh, got his comeback Midas. No, no uh, Spirit Vessel charges anymore. So he's... Uh, yeah, he's in a bit of a waiting mood right now. Yeah, and FBZ's actually only got the one, but that's not going to be effective against at least Morphling for much longer, as he is about to finish up his BKB. Maybe just another minute or so, and then we'll have that online. That'll play BKB, though, ready for Yopage, as it's going to be boom, smoking boom, up. smoke yet again. This time, not picked up by the ward, and a nice haste turn spawning in Blink for Dagger on Pudge. Oh, okay. I don't know if, if Fata saw that, though, but he did actually uh, hit someone with his... Yeah, he should know now, right? He, he did call... He did get bonus hero damage on his uh, Astral Spirit, yeah. and that you hear that sound cue as well um, through Fata. Yeah, and, and you see it. Yeah. And you, and you should be able to look at your damage and see, like, huh, these creeps gave me plus 100. That's strange. <laughs> that's that's weird. Hmm. Yeah, so uh, Sonics, they're going to go ahead and smoke back up. But I doesn't really... Well, they are smoking up towards this top lane. Only two heroes in smoke, though. A little awkward. Yeah, that's not uh, enough. But they all have TPs, obviously. BKB ready on Morphling. Paj is TPing. Smoking in as there's a quick dismember interrupted. A hook back now onto Fata as he's trying to escape Drums of Endurance. But here, the Pulverize is going to be looking to turn. Fata does get off that uh, Air Splitter as well. Only catching FBZ. Well, as there's the jump oh, in. Yawar, jackpots. BKB active. They got the kill, but they also pick up Quinn. Yopaz looking to TP away. Ooh, and he gets yeah, yeah, out yeah. in time. That physical damage was maybe scaring him for a second. But under the cover of the BKB, they can't cancel his TP. And he's safely Radiant's away. Yeah. Is under attack. Also, Jack Boys, I wonder, did I miss a glimpse there? I, f I feel like they should be getting a glimpse on the Titan there or something. I, I don't know. Maybe... maybe like, they, they, he saw the Morphling teeping in, and he was a bit out of position. I, I don't know. Yeah, but check out that damage, right? Our observer subscribing to Dota Plus, uh, showing just the burst already. Yeah, that that Morphling was doing two seconds there, essentially, is, yeah. is what Pudge dies in. I love this yeah, feature. Yeah. I think it's, it's highly underutilized. Good job. Yeah, yeah. No, but he... Um, yeah, he didn't have flashy anymore, right? Like, he used that to walk down the Titan. But it felt like he was very alone. Like, there was no Phoenix diving in A-Gang. There was no... Right. Nothing happening. I guess they were all like more focused on the tower, and he was by himself there. And even if you just look at the fight recap, I mean, it's still Pudge doing the majority of the damage, because we missed the opportunity on the Observer feed, but the 4k damage done by Pudge in that fight, just I rock. So. Yeah, I mean, but he was literally fighting 105 there, so... <laughs> uh, I don't know, they bit of miscommunication, maybe, yes. like how they wanted to do that. He just needed a little bit of backup, didn't get it in time. Yeah. Uh, at, at least they still kill Quinn, you know? Keep that up, he might, uh, might have a, a tough time. Yeah. Uh, so he has an item? Is Oh, it's the bots. Okay. So continuing to try and scale into the late game for him. Yep. Playing quite greedy here. Agreed. Uh, but I, I don't uh, mind. But let's with a BKB next. Brown Boots, <laughs> Rate Packed, BKB, and only the Null Tally. Yeah. Uh, I think I think I like it. I, they have so many AoE things, right? If you... Uh, if you don't have the speaky beat, like the static storm could just randomly mess up your fight. The requiem could mess up your fight, and uh, you might be taking too much damage passively from the phoenix. So, right. Because right. like getting a soul Karas, that's like your next step. That's when you become really powerful. And like whatever, like they pop their BKBs, you don't care. You just kill them through their BKBs. Exactly. Maybe, maybe you do need this BKB right now too. And that AC aura, is, it's sure gonna feel nice with the, the physical damage that your Posh is gonna start bringing. Yeah. Bonus attack speed as well will help. Oh, your Posh getting yeah. stomped here. Hook uh, going swinging wide. Oh, but they, they are going to glimpse back Quinn. He's got bots, so we'll be back, you know, shortly. But that might actually give enough confidence for Boom to continue sieging. And they even Maybe. fortify the wagon. Yeah, but the, yeah, the Sonics have fortified themselves. I don't know. I wouldn't feel very worried there. <laughs> I mean, Quinn but, I, but, but maybe they can pull something off here. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're confident enough, right? Quinn's captured the outpost that he's shown on the map. They know he's not, you know, speeding back. Another hook going fishing. Got boys connecting. No vision here, and Sonic's with the sentry just in case. Yeah, I think Quinn was happy <laughs> getting uh, sent back there. Now we got too far. He's got Sunstrike invoked. He's like, don't worry, guys. I'm helping. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, ultimately unnecessary for him. And back to farming he goes with the Forge Spirits. Yeah. 
Uh, but Sonic should start getting a bit uncomfortable soon, because Roche can't spawn in 40. And obviously they will... They don't know, like, how long... How long will it truly be? So you kind of have to get some vision in there. Yeah. Of course, uh, at this stage of the game, right, when you're considering the Roche fights, that dire outpost that Boom Esports currently control becomes much more powerful. Yeah. And I think a problem for Boom here is that... Uh, I don't know if Pudge will get BKB in time for this fight. Like, it's really important that he has it. He needs, what is it, about 2k more gold, a little less. Uh, and if he doesn't have BKB in these fights, it's... Uh, they're b b way weaker on Boom. Boom. So not for this Roche fight, as very disciplined play might just reward them here. Uh, they're even sending in Tim's illusion here. Doing a little dance there in the Roche pit. That'll see him respawn in just about 10 seconds. It's a very yeah, short very respawn. Fast yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I don't think this is good for Boom. They probably... Yeah, they would wish that their punch would have more time here to finish the BQB. Yeah. And he doesn't even say buyback, he just buys the components. Okay, let's see if that's... Uh... Oh, that's on the oh, court they're here. teeping for him. They, I feel like they know that he's desperate here. Yeah, like, will they get, get him? They didn't teep on the shred. Oh, he's so greedy. Let's go for the small cap. Oh, he he's is, so greedy. He is. He has Quinn. blink. Yeah, he, has oh, blink. he gets the blink off, but he's still under they a have vision, they have vision. And Quinn, with the cold snap, there's going to be the vessel applied. There's nowhere for Boom to TP to. They just have to run here. But they just can't get here uh, fast enough, Pi. He no. doesn't have buyback, and Roche is up. Oh, uh, it's like a very uh, a lot of circumstances they're going together. Like he knows he needs BKB, so he plays extra greedy. But Sonics, they they punish it. Oh no! And oh, FBZ, he's caught. Oh no! And they cancel the Icarus dive immediately. Sonics, they're gonna get through too. FBZ not willing to commit the ultimate there, and things might just get worse. Oh, they yeah, they thought they caught someone. <laughs> yeah. No, that that this is terrible. Like if they have to give up the Roche here. They have a choice. They can buy back on Phoenix here. Still has Supernova, level 2, and Wraith Pact. A tier 1 tower, top lane, alive to TP2, but it looks they're like they're going to give it up. That's huge for Sonics. So we'll give enough time for Visage to hit 18, finish his assault, and Quinn will finally be able to like finish an item that helps him fight. And actually, Sonics, they, they have a next move to be making. Looks like Scam with his gem. I hate that I accidentally still rhyme. <laughs> Scam with the gem. Scam with the gem. He's going to get a D ward on the cliff. Uh, <laughs> and he's immediately out of there. I mean, that, that word was of that what well, word was obvious the the range that Quinn caught in there on cold snap uh, yeah. so uh, very good timing there making sure he gets out immediately as to not continue chain killing uh, the chain killing that Sonics have now used to stabilize their game and you I mean that worth it, it looks like a steep plummet it's not that much of a change in, in reality but what's not going to be as represented is here, you know, the momentum shift, I think, especially who's, who's grabbed that shard? It was, was it, I believe it was Morph, right? And he's got that now yeah. at his disposal. And I don't believe, yeah, the only silence uh, that uh, Boom have at their disposal is going to be the Static Storm. So anything else here, Dismember, Hook, uh, Requiem even? I'm not sure if that silences you, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure, actually. I, I've never noticed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, no, I would. I had to test that yeah. in the lobby. Uh, but he he's gonna be able to shift at least through dismember. That's the big one yeah. here. And avatar. And time, yeah, avatar. Yeah, it says it says when stunned. I don't know if when feared. This uh, <laughs> this other ones, you know, because like the the Ursa one, which we like to compare this shard to, only says while disabled. Yeah. No. We, we, maybe we'll find out, or maybe we have to hit the. Uh, Practice mode after it's okay. Smoke up by boom. Uh, it's BKB I guess they Jack. got the BKB. Yeah. yeah, BKB on punch here, so they're down to fight. I'm gonna fight. Gonna go on Quinner. And there's the jump in. The Avatos into the Requiem of Souls. The fear perfectly timed there. Fata does that find an Echo Stomp here? Oh, oh and Yawar's in. in. There they go. The pulverize ready to Scotty's keep Scam ready. Static Storm out of this fight. Also catches at BZ, but MSS is still gonna die for this. A two for one trade, but they're chasing down. They persist and they get the kill onto Jack boys. Oh, the Gaben rune. Yawar, he's got DD. So I don't know if Boom want to continue fighting here. <laughs> yeah, still has Aegis. I mean, at least no BKB, but... Yeah, no... Uh, they still have Aeg and Static Storm, so... Not too weak. Yeah. It's gonna... maybe, maybe you don't take the chance here. Buy back? No, he just really full healed that fast. His, uh, MSS did a fantastic job. I mean, MSS is dead, right, for it, but he does a great job of keeping Scam out of the fight, so he cannot do this, because look at the damage it's doing to Yawar. Echo Stomp does not catch Yopage, and dying quickly, but with Aegis yep. is Yawar. 
That's all thanks to Scam. FBZ now might look to counter Nage with a Supernova. TPing in as well is Tims, but also TPing Ooh. in is Quinn on the Familiars. And the Static Storm doesn't catch anyone. Quinn with his BKB active this time doing significant damage as Tims is going to be the one to die. So still, the numbers favoring Sonics, but having lost their Aegis and now the Birds, they feel like they're having enough of this fight and are going to look to disengage. Yeah, definitely, definitely want these birds back now. They're, he's got level three familiars. He's got AC coming, so this is actually quite strong right now. And what we haven't, you know, if we look towards his counterpart here on the FBF, FBZ Phoenix, pardon me. I, I'm not sure if it, if it's more Sonic's doing a great job, you know, preventing him from getting off some impactful eggs in these fights, or if he's just been a bit too timid, right? As Boom did have a tough game one, and now in a tough game two, just not very many supernovas at all. I haven't really oh, felt the impact right. of, the, of the Phoenix, not even with Sunrays in these fights. Yeah, he, he hasn't gone for Shard either, so... Yeah, that's curious. Cause, cause I, yeah, because what I, you could expect there is, like, when they commit that hard for the Pudge, maybe he would, like, egg behind them and yeah. start healing him. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess he's scared of the Morphing as killing the egg, but I feel like maybe you could find some way to position the egg that you... It has some impact in these fights. Yeah, I mean, I mean and that heal, you know, it, it, you can't underestimate it, right? Because not only is it's a heal, it's, it's a beam that does damage. I don't know if the heal is percentage based. I always forget. I believe it's not anymore. But um, it's it's a big heal, right? And yeah. That makes a big difference here. As boom, maybe here they get the opportunity to use a supernova. The BKB is ready to go again. Silver Edge and a Gemma Looking for less for slow here. How did they initiate? Yeah, they have Tiny, so... And I think they knew he was nearby because they, they probably felt the AC aura. That would have been quite the pickoff for them. Not going to happen here. Instead, it's Fata who's showing in the mid lane. Yopaj, his smoke has not yet expired, but his Silver Edge shortly will. And he's going to say hello to Fata with a nice little auto attack. Other than that, doesn't really get the opportunity to make the jump. Yeah. Uh, still animal's game, truly. Uh, but this Morphling is very, very scary. Going for uh, get him now. What do you steal from uh, the String of Theros? You steal... Uh, status resist, I believe 40%. Yes. Which is not bad. Especially on a yeah. punch. But so do you give them negative status resist instead? Yes, right, because on Ooh, Agi Heroes, okay. you steal it from them. So it's a shift of total of 80, right? If you think about it that yeah, way. So, yeah, so like a 2 second stun basically becomes a 3 second stun. Or almost. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's going to be feeling pretty good. Scam, he'd love to get this Axe Scepter online for that upgraded Disruptor status. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, he's, I mean, he's quite far away. He, he bought a gem as well for the team. They haven't lost it yet, but they haven't really been exactly winning fights with it either. I mean, he will get it, though, in this game. Uh, it will happen. He has Philosopher Stone. He needs 2,000 more gold. He's halfway but, there. Uh, yeah. Sonic stay. You don't mess around there. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That you see the aura you talk about all the time. Yeah. He's not close enough. Yep. Okay, so like you can kind of envision it, right? Because look at the AC aura range if you hover over it on uh, this visage. Uh, you can see that's 1200 range. That's what Grave Kicker's, Gravekeeper's Cloak used to be. It used to be that easy to push with birds, right? They've heavily nerfed it. The range 900, uh, you know, it, I think the, a 25% nerf on an AoE doesn't really quite do it justice for what Visage was able to do with that massive range before. Yeah, so like this, abusing it, uh, pushing these tower with alacrity, basically invulnerable birds mm -hmm. is its not as easy anymore. Nope. I don't know what a 900 range looks like, to be honest with you. Because <laughs> most auras in the game are 1200 by default, it's just kind of the number of valves chosen. You know, right back yeah. door 1200. I mean, the, the the stat used to be 900 for most things. It's just uh, they slowly through the years buffed everything up. So. Our creep, baby. Yeah, Vladimir's used to be 900 for the longest time, but yeah, for the past few years. Every aura is basically 1,200. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to find, I think it has Supernova still 900? No, also 1,200 here. Yeah. No you're, no, you're right. I do remember Supernova used to be uh, that amount. Yeah, so it's like it's bigger than a Static Storm, <laughs> smaller than a Vlad's. <laughs> yeah. Hard to really, hard to really uh, find out what that is. This cast range here. Yeah, even a cast range on a waveform is 1,200. What the heck? <laughs> no, but the, if you want to get the decent idea, it's like the cast range of Static Storm right now. Maybe a little more. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the cast range of Static Storm. That's going to be the AoE of 900. That's a very good comparison. Yeah. That's a very good comparison. Thank you very much, Pi. I was, I was, I was desperately hovering over everything. I was like, I don't know what 900 looks like, man. <laughs> oh, Boom gets okay. caught here. What did they throw at him? 
Yeah, no, they, they can't, they don't really want to commit. Uh, yeah, so this is fine for them. What was that effect that they threw at him? I didn't... It's like, what effect? No, I guess I missed it. Uh, I jumped over a bit too late with my camera, but the echo stomp. Yeah, they stomped him and then they tornadoed him, threw some rocks. But oh, not, that's, much. that's what it was, rock throw, thank you. Yes, MSS has that online. Yeah. You're right. And he has his BKB now too, so... Feeling better? He, he would really like to get a plate mail, so... Uh, he doesn't like get four shot by the shot of him. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna feel nice. He, I, again, he might be uh, the tankiest hero in the game as, as far as strength gain goes, but that's not much to show uh, when you're getting right clicked by this SF, Presence of the Dark Lord, uh, as well, reducing your armor to zero. Not super yeah. fun. And now, uh, uh, Satanic FPC? for SF, by the way. So. Yeah, Satanic for SF, and Phoenix is very close to 18 and the Scythal device. Ooh, that's a big so one. So he, he would not, he would want to wait a little bit before they fight there. And both teams, by the way, looking to contest this next Roche. I believe Quincy, sorry, uh, sorry, Sonics, not Quincy. Yeah, Drew. Sonics. Sonics have scouted this and they'll scout it again, but both teams, they're well aware that it is uh, in the timer now. Uh, you know, we, we are in this window where Roche could spawn. Yeah. I mean, that's why uh, Boom are probably feeling slightly uncomfortable now, because they don't know. They don't know what's up. They just know they need to check it. Because uh, Sonics could be rushing. But they're buying right out here. This moment. Look how safe FBZ is being with his courier. It's coming from the secret shop, but he's sending it all uh -huh. the way past the tier 2 tower. They have no idea. But he needs that Scythe of Vice here for this next fight. That could be a massive opportunity for him. You can cast it mid-dive without canceling the dive, of course. Okay, they feel a little better. They see uh, less slow here hitting creep, so... Uh, and I think they saw Morphling push out the top wave, so the no rush is not up. Okay, Fata as well, he's actually holding on to Witchbane. We'll keep our eye out for that. I forget what the effect looks like, uh, but he has a purge for him. It's a targeted purge for himself or an ally with a fairly weak cast range, but he can remove um, Fire Spirits from someone. He can remove, I mean, it's a soft dispel, so not much else, I think. A spirit Vessel, I guess. Yeah, that's that's decent. So, uh, But he has picked up a BKB, so we might see him run in range here this and... Team BKB? It is Team BKB. Yeah. Sonics. Oh, oh, BKB. oh what the heck? It. They actually find him immediately. The Static Storm as well does get Quinn, but Yawar, he actually gets the strength gain off, and he's pushed outside. Oh, he is stunned up now by the Supernova Phoenix. And now... And they, they save him. Oh, they do save him. Oh, no, Jack Boy doesn't have enough damage. And now the Glimpse doesn't connect. Yo, Paj, his BKB expires. Jack Boy, he's going to find the kill. Oh, but kills in, in return. Vata just punching him. Plus 232 damage. He's taken down. Both supports dead on the side of yeah. Sonics, as they will BKB up on Leslau and run away. He did resummon the birds, but yeah. Boom Esports, they're still holding the ward. Still double damage on Morph uh, on Yawar. He's trying to heal up here. Uh, no BKBs. So... Yeah, Fata buying back. They don't want to give up this Roche. He's going to scout it, and they'll take a look. Not that easily. Yeah, they're going to buy back. Roche is up now. They know. They really the need strength. to deward this ward here, too, on the hill. It's uh, seeing everything it's right now. Gem. Oh, Fata lost. Who had, who's carrying to No, no. Leslau has it. Pardon me. Oh, and he, why is he, he needs to check that hill. Oh, look what he's got. He actually, he's got Science of the Grave. He's bought out for this, though. Bye. Oh, they're not. Oh, no. What are they doing? You need to kill the ward. Uh oh, oh Tim's oh. is getting them now. Nice game. And Tim's not doing the damage. Oh, Quinn is dead. He did not BKB, but does have buyback. Has to use it now. Up on the cliff here is Yawar. He's got waveform and five. But now it's Yopaj in trouble as he is dying and dead. Yawar is going to get the kill there. And that's a 10 times godlike streak without buyback here either on this yeah. SF. And BKBs are coming back up for Sonics here. They should feel very comfortable taking this Roche. Yeah, no uh, supernova ready. No, uh, yeah, there's static storm, but not, like, what? What is that gonna do? Not much. Here. Already dead. Not much without the damage dealer there. Refresher shard on deck here. That's what spawned here after third Roche is slain. Next one will have that axe blessing. Scam desperately trying to find the farm here as well to get his axe scepter online. He's merely 250 gold and some change away, but it's Quinn who goes hunting in the trees. But Tim's teeping away the he tornado. Got him. Quinn, he caught him. And this is going to be a major pickoff here as Tim's, he, it might take him some time to die, uh, but he has no teleport and he has a buyback. Okay, so uh, I mean, dagger. it's no. a little bit more for or, sorry for Sonics to force out from him as they will actually all gather around and get the kill. We'll see. And the replay there. A bit of frustration there for Boom. So without having there uh, the BKB for SF, he's just not able to stand his ground and fight. Lincoln's Satanic BKB. Three somewhat defensive items for him here, Pi. Just not enough. Yeah. Uh, I, I think he put himself slightly out of position there. Uh, Tim's got a really nice initiate from the ward at the Leslodin D ward, mm -hmm. but uh, Yopash went a little too deep. 
Great toss back there as well. I think it ends up cliffing Yamar. Either that or he waveformed up there voluntarily. Yeah, I think he, wa he uh, kind of waveformed and Mantha at the same time and ended up there. I got it. Okay. Flipped himself then. I thought it was the toss, but he, he, Tiny still lacks that 20 talents that you were excited for DJ to, to show us. Yeah. Not as, as exciting this game. Uh, Yabar has waveform, right? So yep. can't really toss the carry up cliffs. Better versus Medusa's. Oh, but he's looking for well, a toss back now. In. It blinks on in, does get hooked on back as well. Icarus dive. There's Static Storm. Is that the exit well, version? It is. Static Storm. And they've caught Yawar, and he's going to end up losing. But that's just his Aegis here. Yeah. Tim's is going to die back. Quinn in. rejoining Yopage. the fight. Everyone Yopage. BKB'd up now as they get on top of Yopaj. Immediately, he's killed at BZ. He has Supernova, but no chance for it to last more than a second. As Sonics take down four, they buy back on Jack, but he's the only one now with buyback. No yeah, one look else at him back it. during the tower here. Oh, Have to force the glyph. Once again, SF didn't get his BKB off at all in that fight. Eager, yeah. he was... I'm, I'm, yeah, very strange, right? And they don't get Supernova off. <gasps> Sonic! Going thrown. They, they're going thrown. Any buybacks? No, no, right? No buybacks. Not a single one. Just the Pudge here. Maybe hoping for a toss back. No, is Fortify is out. But MSS, he's dropping the boy lines. Sonic. They needed a 2-0 here real bad. Started yeah. the day at 2 and 6. They're hooked now beyond the Ancient, but a waveform back here for Yawar as GG well played is called. NA Dota, for now, is not airport. Their chances at remaining alive here in the group stage continue with this 2-0 over Boom. Yeah, very, very nice for them. Uh, I would say two pretty well played games. The second game, uh, a little more sloppy from, I think, mostly Boom, right? Uh, they were nursing a lead like the entire game.